Z is Thai ribs. I'm going to show you how to make Zia's Thai ribs. This is actually my take on how to make Zia's Thai ribs. So I'm going to call it Janet non Thai ribs recipe. Anyhow, this is a dish that is very popular here in New Orleans. And if you go to Zia's, you need to all to try this ribs unless you can make it like how I make it. And it is pretty darn close on how to make these ribs. Follow my directions, it's gonna be falling off the bone, tender, juicy, and really delicious. Meanwhile, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification up there somewhere so you can be notified of my future videos. All right, so let's go in the kitchen and let's make our ribs. Start off with a dry rub and that Dry rub has two teaspoons each of garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. And I have about two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoon of brown sugar. And of course, a half a teaspoon or so of salt and pepper. Of course, I have some avocado oil. And then I have some sesame oil, and which we're gonna be toasting that in a few minutes. Of course, the glaze. Are gonna be using about three and a quarter pound of a baby back ribs so to get started of course I wash this ribs and we need to take off this this membrane here in the back so all the dry rub that you put on the meat will get absorbed we just start off with taking this thing off just like that Pull this whole membrane off. Just like that. Okay, so this membrane needs to come off so it'll absorb all the spices. Of course, we're gonna trim some of the fat. No, the ribs is not a healthiest part of the pork, but it has very good flavor, especially if you know how to cook it right. Okay, so now we're gonna start off with the dry rub right there. Wow, oh, okay, yeah, like that. Okay, so my mom's helping me while I film. So she's gonna put the dry rub all over the meat. Just like that. Pahid mama, pahid. Look, just like that. Rub it, like massaging it. Yeah. And we're gonna turn it over. Put the rest of the rub. We're gonna let it sit 30 minutes to an hour. It's gonna cover all the surfaces with the avocado oil. So we'll have a nice little shine or seal, however you call it. Put about a quarter cup of the avocado oil. Now we're gonna cover it up with the foil, just like that. And we're gonna bake it in the oven. Covered like this, slowly at three, at 275 degrees for like at least a couple hours. And then we're gonna leave it uncovered for the rest of the way, but that one you're gonna probably crank the 
heat up the 300. There you go. So I'm gonna need my mom to help me since Brian is not here. She gonna put in the oven for me? Is it baba? No, just a gift not. Start off with some plum jelly for our glaze. Adding two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon each of garlic and onion powder, and sugar. Now we're gonna toast some sesame seeds. Doesn't matter how much you want, but I got enough in there. So in a very, very low heat, you're gonna toast it until brown. You can release the aroma of the sesame seeds. All right, so now we take it off the oven and voila. Ooh, it looks so tender. I bet you. Yep, look how tender. So now we're gonna glaze this. With our base, and then we're gonna bake it for another 30 minutes to an hour. So we will have a nice glaze. Sometimes I'll take the sauce over the rib. I may just do that. So it will not steam that the oil. So we're gonna just bake it right now at 300. Okay. And then until it has a little char on the rib. So tender. So towards about 10 minutes before we took it out of the oven, I put it in broil for about 10 minutes, you know, so it kind of darkened a little bit. I didn't want to char it so much. And then we let it rest for about 10 minutes. So now I'm getting ready to slice the ribs. Look how tender this is. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I got the bone. See how tender this is? Now we're gonna sprinkle it with sesame seed. Alright, so now we're gonna try my non Thai ribs. Like I said, it's falling off the bone good. Ooh, look at that. All right, it's really good, very delicious and tender, falling off the bone good, like I said. This is Janet's non-Thai ribs. If you like this vlog, if you think you're gonna enjoy this, please subscribe so I can show you more of our East West life. Comment down below. And please share it with a friend. Until next time, bye!